my brain is dead right now, so remind me what happened last time. Well, I believe what happened last night is we got back to our little hobo shack out in the middle of the woods. Um, Corbin was yep. like, yo, we, we need to defeat the Winslows right now. Right this very second. So we left with him, ran off to the mansion. Um, their it wasn't servant. Corbin, it was uh, Hadrian he left with. Oh gosh, it was. It was. He popped Brother. Um, and we rushed in while the rest of the guards and him took care of the servants. We got our arses kicked, but managed to. Uh, emerge victorious in the end with many dead party members and by that i mean just moro mm. <laughs> and uh, we we begged um Crowdo, and he said, that's the one and he was like oh fine i'll give you a, a jewel from my hoard and i'll revive him but in return you owe me big time and now we're even more in debt than we were previously. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I think that's a very bare bones rundown. As a result of winning your boss fight, you guy, all of you get a point of inspiration. Wee! If you don't already have one, that is. We don't stack. I don't know where to put that in. Uh, top right next to your hit points. You just click it. It is, it's, just a, it's, it's just a tracking thing. <laughs> yeah, um, I need to save those for more death saves, I reckon. Uh, for If you don't know what Inspiration does, it's uh, it lets you re-roll. It basically, it's just basically uh, you, can, you can just, yeah, just, it just lets you re-roll. It's not, it's not advantage, but um, it's basically advantage. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. <laughs> I think you can also give it to another character. Sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys stayed for night at the inn, <laughs> of which his names escapes me. Well, it's been a week. It's all it's all fresh. The merry mind. hound. That oh. Yeah. He like said that at five fifty-seven. Yeah, I have see that now. He was in. He was in chat. Like, I was wondering why it was so quiet. <laughs> Very unfortunate timing. Mm. Anyway, um. Oh my God! What is Ike's doing?
Ooh. An eight. Um, oh, it's, it's almost like you're knocking every door that's not his door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll hear me eventually. Do I hear him eventually? Um, no. You can roll perception first, and then I'll have you roll insight. Okay, let's have you roll insight. Because, mm. like, how, how are you going to know he's looking for you? <laughs> I mean, he's shouting his name. <laughs> oh, well, you know, this is a new person you met yesterday. You, 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 okay, it's, 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 it's high enough for you to realize it's not hostile, but it's also not not hostile. It's, it's drunk. <laughs> I'm going to slowly open my door and just look where he is. Can deal with it how you desire. <laughs> <laughs> um, does Aphen see him? Can Aphen see anything? Uh, roll perception at disadvantage. <laughs> Aphen doesn't see anything, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> then Aphen's just gonna stand in the fucking hallway and scream that he left down the stairs and that he's not here anymore and maybe we should go look for him. <laughs> he sounds very distressed. No, it's okay, I'm right here. <laughs> I don't see you, where are you at? <laughs> um, me and Cotton are gonna come out of our room and meet him in the hallway. I am right here! I'm just waving my hand in front of his face. Uh, I think Aphid is allowed to see him now, maybe. <laughs> sure, but I want to I imagine a scenario where Aphid is looking for a regular sized person. He's just looking over his head? He's just not seeing him? <laughs> mm. like, Who's this child that keeps talking to me? I'm not looking for you. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <gasps> a child! No! <laughs> Let's just get downstairs. It's gonna be fine. Aphen attempts attempts to head back downstairs. Uh, you know what? Give me a deck save at disadvantage. <laughs> roll, roll again, because it's at disadvantage. Yeah, let's see the second one. Yeah, let's, one. Let's see that natural one. Come on. <laughs> Eleven. You make it down the stairs without falling over. Congrats. Wow. Hey. He looks at Gray and says, See, I told you it would be fine. See, Gray? <laughs> told you it'd be fine. I'm just coming down shaking my head. Ah, you <laughs> drop. Nice I... of you to finally join us. Yeah, it was... Attending to some stuff. Oh, anything exciting? No, I just um, made sure that my sling is used to me and I summoned Cotton again. Made sure to apologize for everything from yesterday. Poor Cotton. He's looking okay now, though. If it wasn't for him, we would have all been dead. I, 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 I don't say that. I was just trying to get Ethan to join us, but if it's too dangerous, you'll put him off. Isn't that the cat that died like a lot yesterday? Yes, but he's cool. not a cat. Is he not a cat? He looks like a cat. <laughs> Why does everybody say that? He does look a bit like a cat, you drop. Just because he has fur. Yeah, cats have fur. And so do other animals. Yeah, but mostly cats. What about the wolf pelt? What wolf pelt? A sacred wolf pelt. pelt. You mean that's not a cat too? Okay, I, I see I can not get anywhere with this. Anyway, business. We have all the mercenary guild hall things to hand in. Yes. But looking over the list, um, I don't think we can actually prove ninety percent of these. Let me have a look at a list. For example, find my husband. Well, we haven't actually found the husband, so no. Whoa. 
a lot of them we can report as missing, not missing, as deceased, unfortunately. Then there's, where's my niece? Uh, help me find her again. Um, not really doable. Useless husband, please bring him home. Uh, not happening, I'm afraid. Lost teenager, mm, dead. He's like, what the hell did you drink this morning, Sigrid? Find my mother. Um, she's missing. Uh, dead. <laughs> my apprentice disappeared a few weeks ago. Mm, dead. This has given you some insight into uh, Sigrid's childhood. <laughs> oh no! Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> As, to, as towards how she treats the, the deceased and their families. <laughs> There's no time for mourning. There is only dead and alive. Wasn't there also something else that we we're getting paid for? I completely forgot. Well, we did the cobalt. I mean, yeah, but we did get paid for that already. Um, there was Tiger in the Streets. I suppose we could say we got rid of it. Have, do we have proof? Well, they're not going to see another tiger again. Mm. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, they might see the brother. Uh, I don't think we can cash in any of these, really. But we can still try to bring the stuff that's in the chest to the guild hall and see if they can find out if that belongs to anybody. Ah, of course, the chest. Um, the 1600 copper pieces in the chest. Were we gonna bring that to the guild hall? That's up to the group to decide. I mean, what is 1600? It's like 16 gold? Uh, I'm sure we can hand it back if it makes us look good. <laughs> it's like it's like when you hear the number of sixteen hundred, it's like oh man, that's a lot. And then you do the conversions, like oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Aphid is escaping. <laughs> I have to take care of my bird. <laughs> oh God, he's delusional. Someone stop no, him. No, I have a, I have a bird. I have, I have Corvo. Did you forget? Did you not? I have a, I have a bird. Who? Ethan's gonna. Ethan's <laughs> gonna go outside now. Um, should maybe one of us check on him? No, he's capable, isn't he? I think I'm, he's drunk. I'm considering how having a burst like an owl as a meme for last campaign, having the owl sound like a crow. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't realize that. <laughs> Don't worry, if anyone comes outside, they'll see that Corvo has found Ethan, and he's just sitting on his shoulder contentedly. Still loud, but content. Is that making uh, Ethan fall over from the weight of a bird? No, it's just a regular bird. It weighs like nothing. It's just Yeah, but you're drunk. I mean, he's wearing <laughs> all his armor. I think if he was gonna fall over, it would be from the armor, not the bird. <laughs> okay. Funny, though. But we already know that if Aethon falls over, it's due to the cape. Uh, true. True. You know, crows are really fucking big. <laughs> oh yeah, they can be. Ravens? Yeah, ravens are pretty big. But they don't weigh a lot. Yeah, Most big of them. <laughs> hollow bones. Yeah. <laughs> My core's bigger. It's not a competition. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just realizing how many birds I've actually seen. Too many. Whoop. So, uh, should we take a vote all in favor of being good citizens? Yes. Well, there's one. Great. Sure. Oh, we're it. not. Fine, fine. We'll hand back the belongings. <laughs> I 
Maybe be rewarded just for handing back the belongings. Perhaps. But isn't the real reward knowing that you've done something good? Oh. And she'll do a big smile <laughs> that looks forced. Uh, road deception. <laughs> uh, bing. Oh, wow. <laughs> it looks very forced. <laughs> <laughs> it convinces no one, not even yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, it was worth a try. I suppose we'd better leave Morrow to have a bit of rest after his small accident. Yeah. You guys <sighs> left your horses and the car at the back of a shack, by the way. Does Ethan have his his charger, or is that does that come later with levels? I don't actually know. Your charger? Uh, you mean summon? Steed. Yeah, there's a there's like a summon steed that Paladin. Yeah, you, you, need to, you get that at level five. Yeah, he needs to level up. He needs to level up a bit. He needs to get good okay. first. I just I just wasn't sure. It's just one more level, I think. I mean, I'll check again, but I'm pretty sure. Doo -doo -doo. And then you can get summon greater steed way later and can summon things like a Pegasus or some shit like that. <laughs> Yark, Griffin. level five, you can get fine steed. And I think it's level 13 you get summon greater steed. I'm going to look up some other fine steed options. Oh, you can get griffins. I would ride a griffin. Griffins are dope. Oh, maybe a mole. Maybe can you find a mole bounder for a fine seed? I mean, it's up to the DM what you can find anyway. So it's um, your call. Just looking at it. Never heard of one of those anyway. I think it's like, oh, it's it's that critical role thing. Um, I think it needs to be like below CR one, like a. A non-violent beast below CR1, or like a, maybe a herbivore below C You can summon a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, it's fantastic. Fine steed summons dog. <laughs> Don't you mean a cat? Sure. Meow. Um, but yeah, there's war, axe, axe speak, draft horse, giant bat. Is giant bat an option? I don't know if that'd be an option. Um, because it can fly, that'd be cheating. Um, giant goats, giant lizard, giant seahorse, giant warhorse, skeleton. Well, uh, yeah, that, skeleton. that, that, that one, that one. That's the one I want. The undead warhorse skeleton? Yes, that's what I want. Okay. I thought you got to like necromancy, but let's go for it. Well, I don't... <laughs> I don't know what any of these things look like. I don't know any of the things that you just mentioned. A goat? Well, okay, all right. I'm not riding a goat, okay? <laughs> I'm not doing that. All right. Uh, where are you guys going? Um, I think we're going to the Mercenary Guild Hall. All right. We'll get a move on then and don't cut across anything that's not a road. Right, who's got the box? Oh, it's a giant goat, though. Like, uh, have you seen the hobbits? Or the part three of Hobbit? Yes. Giant goats. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at them go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys slowly make your way over to the guild hall, mostly trying to, you know, make sure Gray doesn't get into any, any, into any trouble. Gray! Well, no, uh, Aethan. And, you know, well, and Gray. I was about to say, I was a little salted. You know, Gray can, can be shifty sometimes. Go, go keep your eye on him, too. Uh, that's a joke. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I slowly make your way to the guild hall. 
and you arrive. It's not super busy, but there's a lot of talk between the, uh, the patrons and the guild staff. Anything we can overhear? Oh, you want to listen in? Roll perception. Yes. <laughs> Are you trying to be obvious about it, or...? No. I don't see why not. Well, at this rate, you can't hear anything other than the, the, the sound of busybodies going about their oh. busy business. Murmuring. Yeah, murmur, murmur, murmur. Hubbubs. Ugh, what's all this commotion? Oh, you didn't hear, love? No. Oh, I heard, oh, I heard that uh, there was a big old fight by the Winslow Manor. Oh, no, 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 mate, it was in the Winslow Manor. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, what a funny coincidence. Yeah, I heard them Winslow lot kicked the arse of whoever came in here, but still lost. Uh, and who said that story? Uh, who told you, Bill? I don't know, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> who told you, Bob? Uh, I think it was George. George, who told you the story? Well, I believe it was Jeremy. Jeremy, who told <laughs> you the story? Oh, I believe it was Bill. Now we come full circle. <laughs> um, Sigrid would like to jump up onto a table and get everyone's attention. Roll charisma. Straight charisma. Yeah. That's 12. Yeah, you can get a lot of people's attention, but not everyone. Some people just ignore you like, who is this wild girl? For the wild. <laughs> um, hmm, I must have something for this. I do not. <laughs> Just jumps off the table and got nothing to say. <laughs> um, she would like to scream. Silence! <laughs> Roll intimidation. Oh shit. Ah! It's 21. Oh. The, the room goes silent. You all have lots of stories to tell about the Winslows, I'm sure. But we know better because we were there, inside the manor, and we were the ones that took out the Winslows. Oh yeah? Well, a lot of people want to claim that there was them. What proof do you have that it was you, huh? Sigrid will unsheath Count Winslow's a uh, crystal sword and hold it high in the air. Anyone recognize this? There's a uh, a low mur. <laughs> of course, Ethan does. Uh, there's, a, <laughs> there's, there's a low murmur in the room. I grumble. Aye, that's what I thought. So you're the one who went and killed the Winslow, huh? Well, me and my team, and uh, she'll gesture to the others. <laughs> it was life or death. Our hand may have been forced. <laughs> I, I feel like you said that like a don't don't look at me. <laughs> Guys, situation. <laughs> Why did you bring me into this? <laughs> oh yeah. Well, some people might see it in a way that you sort of broke into their house and assaulted them. So, uh, what are you doing there in the first place, huh? Well, to them, we'd say that the Winslows were summoning demons and inserting them into the minds of their servants to make this unholy demon horde. And merchants. Also merchants, yes. There was also a jellyfish. Okay, now I can roll for switch at disadvantage. Because he just sounds so far-fetched. jellyfish. Sorry. <laughs> That's an eight. Uh, some people have just gone off of your notes is of just paying attention to you because they think you're crazy now. But uh, some people are just like, they watch like, oh, okay, well, let's see where this goes. <laughs> 
How comes we ain't? How comes no one saw any demon corpses there, huh? Because we managed to take care of the problem before it got too big. Ah, uh, you did. Right, yeah. Care to put your might where your mouth is, sir? <laughs> Gray steps away from cigarette a little bit. <laughs> uh, a man <clears throat> stands up. What's your rank, huh? Oh shit, he's got me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> my rank doesn't matter. My deeds are more important. Yeah, that's your what rank someone... is so high, sir. If your rank is so high, why didn't you save the merchants? Figure out who the tiger was. Go and discover that the Winslows had this big seated plot to summon demons into people's bodies and collar that they collared them to keep the demons inside. That was crazy. I don't ever want to experience that again. But why are you sitting here not doing that? Hmm? Roll. <laughs> Charisma. <laughs> yes, go Gray. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> Quick, take some Average. inspiration. He's, uh, I do. You, she. He already has inspiration. You, you can't borrow when you already have some. Uh, the guy just sort of scowls at you. Is like, and what's your rank then? Oh no, he's, he's just gonna pull the rank card on all of us. Listen, you can't be pulling rank like it's a dick measuring contest. I need you to back up. I've done some real shit. Sigrid will whisper, <laughs> I don't even have a deck. Aethon will loudly blurt out that he is a captain. Grace, <laughs> <laughs> he's like looking over his shoulder like, are you trying to get me killed? Like. The guy uh, reaches into his pocket. Uh oh. Takes out some knuckle dusters. Ooh. Well, if you don't want to compare rank like real mercs, it's time <laughs> I put put you down a peg, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's you and me, like, pretty boy. <laughs> Can I just restrain him right now? Which pretty boy? Out of panic. Uh, sure. Can you can try a. You can. Hey, you turn his attention to gray. Um, you can try a grapple on him. What do I uh, roll? Uh, Please don't be strength. It'll be. It'll be uh, athletics. Athletics, huh? Well, There's no <laughs> guild hall fight. This is fun. No, no need to get out of hand, sir. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> it's one point above average! Okay, let's see. Boop! Ooh. You, you <laughs> grapple him! <laughs> we can oh. sit down, sit down, right? And that one, that one's had some wine. He's Rats. pointing at Aethon. Uh, roll persuasion. <laughs> if, if it's any consolation, if your rank makes you feel like you're a big tough guy, it's okay. It's alright. Just know that your rank is higher than mine. <laughs> I can't get him on 10! Or 11, rather. Right, he is going you. to a, uh, a, a, a punch you. <laughs> He's gonna punch you. Fight! Fight in the kill doll! Alright, <laughs> It I guess it won't be, be that difficult. Plus. <clears throat> plus poof. I guess it's plus four. <laughs> Twelve to he hit. <laughs> Damn, he, 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 he hits into the, uh, well, into your lever. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to have to charge you for destruction of property. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna try and push you off. Okay. Gonna try and ungrapple. Is it possible that Greg could just step back the moment he feels the resistance to trip him, or let him like trip himself with his own force? Uh, sure. Roll 
athletics or acrobatics. Ooh. Okay, as he is trying to get you off of him, you trip him up and he falls like, oh, you're getting me mad, pretty boy. <laughs> well, that sounds like a personal problem and you have my sympathies and Gray will walk away. You know what I bet? <laughs> I bet this lot bought the sword off a real, the real killer. I bet they have no idea what happened inside that Winslow house. Aethan's gonna take offense. He's really mad. Yes, yes, go Aethan. I he bet. Like, Do I just look like I carry a lot of coin? <laughs> I bet I these just... folk are iron rank mercs trying to make a name for themselves in this here guild by saying they took out the big, bad, mean boss of the town. Can I Can I just have Aethan tackle him? Just straight up. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, sure, roll strength. Oh, no. <laughs> He'll roll as well. You tackle oh, no. into him, and he holds his ground and pushes you onto the, pushes you aside onto the floor. He and you, just laying on his back on the floor now. You just fall into a drunken slump. Who is this? Who are these people? Huh? Well, you just attacked a civilian because he's not technically recruited to the mercenary guild. We were bringing him here to recruit, but you just assaulted him by pushing him on the floor. We all... <laughs> lads, we all saw him charge at me. You, you can't change the story post-haste. I don't know! Uh, Would you see yeah. Sigurd? That kind uh, of looks like assault to me. <laughs> I don't know. I think no. that he attacked Grey first. Oh, fair point. Aethan <laughs> just, just from the to... floor just says that he tripped. <laughs> <laughs> Great deflates. Like you can't, you can't unweave my stories. Stop that. <laughs> this, this, this guy is confused. <laughs> he's, he's not sure if he's in a fight right now or not. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> uh, what's what's happening here? <laughs> you know what? I don't have time for this. All of you just know this. I've discovered the truth. These iron classed mercenaries trying to steal someone else's glory to try and rank up quickly. We've all seen before. We all know what happens to folks like them who try to cheat their way up, up the ranks. And end up getting assigned a mission that's a bit too tough. I bet we'll be hearing about them pretty soon. We'll be hearing about how they forty-eight something too dangerous for them. They failed. And they had to get returned home in pieces. Chris like, man. Right, right. Won't it burst his bubble when he finds out that we picked it and we're gonna sign anything? <laughs> oh, 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 I'm raging, raging at this guy. <laughs> he hasn't even said anything that bad. <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty bad. I mean, uh, look, look at them. What are they? They're, 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 they're best circus. We got I'd like a. To uh, cast Arbor of Agathis? <laughs> no! no! <laughs> we got some barbarian. I bet she's from the north, right? And we got, then, uh, after I'm done, I'd like to leap off the table and headbutt him. <laughs> oh my god. Roll dip, roll <laughs> arm strike. <laughs> it had to be done. He was being very rude. A 15, a 
That's a hit. It does two damage. <laughs> what the fuck is your problem, you crazy broad? Ah! <laughs> She's just gonna scream. Is... Look, I didn't come here. I didn't come here for this. I put these on, but I don't know why now that I think about it. Not my the... business. What? <laughs> what? You, you can't just make knuckle dusters and then... You're confusing me a lot right now, sir. You're confusing me! First, I thought you were starting a fight. I... I don't know anymore. <laughs> I think you just hit the sense back into him, Sigrid. <laughs> you lot are confusing. You're, you're a bit of a circus. If, if, if you ask me and I've, I mean, you brought a child with you. Come on. Oh. You're treading on very thin ice right now. <laughs> very thin ice indeed. You know what, lass? He pats you on the shoulder. You're not worth the time. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Hey, we do the big jobs so that mercenaries like him can sit down and belittle us. But we get paid, and we know we did it, and we have the trophies. I wonder yeah, what they consider almost... the big jobs, sir. Uh, oh, big jobs. Oh, my cat's gone missing. Come find it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. It's that of Kit Punch. Right, in the face I'm gonna roll a D2. And if it's a 2, I'm gonna stab him. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Fuck. Is that a ah! good The dice has spoken. <laughs> I would it's... like. Oh no, sorry, I'm to you. Uh, just questioning is that the guild hall keeper or the bar keeper or whatever? No, he's just, a, he's just one of the him. patrons. He's just one of the mercenaries. Okay, can I just go up to the. Um, Keep good keeper in the meantime. Sure. <laughs> what do you want to do before the sacred stabs him? With the crystal short sword. <laughs> um, well, since we, no, mat no matter if we were there or if we weren't there, we found a chest in the, um, in their house that may be connected to all the people they have might have killed or might have not, who knows? And we thought maybe you'll find some stuff from the people that are missing. Oh. If you can collect some of the people um, that put out the missing poster and can show them the stuff in the chest, maybe they find something. Okay, let's have a look then through this chest. <laughs> you can go back to stabbing now. <laughs> this is gonna take a while anyway. In the uh, 30 seconds we've had since then, I've thought about if it's such a good idea, and it's definitely not. <laughs> well, you, said you, <laughs> you, you said you're gonna stab him, you Let's have the dice to sign him. Ah! This was basically going on while you were having the conversation Shit. earlier, when he was trash talking you. Uh, that's a hit. <laughs> it's uh, d6 plus d8 plus... Um... The, the five because it's my hex weapon. He takes fourteen damage. You did you make the crystal short sword your hex weapon? Yeah. I thought you were your hex weapon was for great sword. Oh no, you can have a packed weapon and a hex weapon. Hex weapon just means you can use your charisma for it. Oh, does that packed mean you means get... you get all the other juicy stuff? Does that mean you no longer get charisma on your great sword? Uh, no, because. Your packed weapon is also a hex weapon, but you also get one more hex weapon. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> it's kind of like uh, you get to have a second one that uses your charisma, but you can't multi-attack with it. It's a little strange. Right. So it's 14 damage. Wait, well, he is it's bleeding. Oh, what the fuck? Is he, he's still not attacking me. This guy's uh, he's, he's quite reasonable, actually. <laughs> He just talks shit, that's why Gray was like, you gotta fight with your words! 
Oh shit, I've been stabbed! Oh, you just broke the unspoken rule. Someone get the guild master! Fuck! Oh. <laughs> Secret! Secret! Yeah, She's gonna the cast sound. darkness on herself. <laughs> <laughs> now no one can see. Now no one can see. Someone is running blackness. upstairs. Oh shit! It Quick, cause some chaos. <laughs> She's gonna start. Uh, I don't know. Running around in the darkness and slapping people's drinks out their hands. Oh. Can Grey approach him with his medical kit and be like a big strong guy like you? You know, like complaining that you were you were hit and as he's saying this, he's he's gonna treat him with, with the Roll uh, medicine. <laughs> with his negative one. You ready for this? Oh, it's not too bad. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. Well she doesn't mean her that much, but this girl's being a bit of a prick. I yeah, yeah, but come on, can you just, like you said, we're, we're iron rank, you just, sometimes you just gotta give the wind to little people, come on, it's yeah, not a big deal, right? I was gonna, I was gonna let you off, and then you stabbed me. <laughs> I didn't stab you, sir. No, 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 Grace, like, treating the wound, like, this is not what happened. He was real rude, though. <laughs> uh, the guild master comes down. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to get wants... people to start fighting. They're just, they're just, <laughs> what, they, we don't want part of this. It is Eva the Wyvern Slayer. Uh oh. I don't, oh have any, no. I don't have any GM notes about her. <laughs> do I? Wait, no. I probably do. I'm just clicking on the wrong screen. <laughs> uh, what notes do I have on Eva the Wyvern Slayer? Um, she is a... Oh, no, that's the wrong, wrong place. Exeter. <laughs> Time to go. boost. <laughs> um... Are we an Exeter? Yeah. Okay, I don't, I don't have any information on either, because I didn't think you'd ever meet her. But here we are. <laughs> uh, she is a... She is a terrifying looking dragonborn warrior lady wielding a knife. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't what I was expecting. Can I have Aethan address her immediately? And Fork. Uh, sure. What's um, going on here? Well, that guy. That guy attacked him, he points at Grey, and then he tripped me, and then he called her a barbarian, he points at Sigrid. Roll Sigrid is enveloped in some darkness. Roll persuasion at disadvantage, because you're A, still drunk, and B, Sigrid's enveloped in darkness, not people with glasses out of their hands. <laughs> <laughs> Roll again. Well, you gotta do it one more time, I'm afraid to see what the score is. Ah! That's the I don't want to hear none of it. I don't recognize you. And no, um, I'm He's new. I... I don't recognize any of you as any of my regulars. I, I, <laughs> I don't want to have to beat you up. So I'm going to kindly ask you to step outside so we can chat. Otherwise. Things gonna get a little hot in here. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Okay, Graham. that's uh, we'll, pretty reasonable. We'll finish his medical treatment. And he deep inhales and goes outside, pained. <laughs> Sigurd will uh, step outside and then drop darkness. You too, George. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Oh man, really? <laughs> Alright, what's happened? Well, they came in here saying that they went on... murked the Count. And you know how that story's gone off the rails? So on one hand, they might have murked the Count. In which means that they murked the Count. 
<laughs> on the other hand, they could be lying and they could be trying to boost their rank using someone else's work. And you know how that ends up. Yes, I understand your issues, but I understand how you can get a little up your own head, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I, yeah, but you, 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 she stabbed me. I can see uh, that. That is not true. He ran into my sword. <laughs> because I was defending myself and I held it out in front of me and he lunged and he managed to impale himself. Roll deception at disadvantage because she's, <laughs> oh my she's God. surely been okay. told everything that's been happened already. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look, I'm sure you sound very sure of yourself right now, but I'm having none of it. It's true. Look. Yeah, I can see blood on the sword. His blood yeah, but... in your hands. It's very incriminating. Look, we don't we don't fight our fellow mercenaries, especially in the bloody guild hall. Well, it wasn't bloody until he got involved. <laughs> Is that sass? No. I'm detecting sass. I... Mm. I've heard about you from down south for one they call the Winter Wolf. I heard you took on odd jobs because you're sponsored by one of their elder mercenaries who's currently on retirement. And so we're supposed to give you a bit of bit of leeway because you're not from this country. But listen, we're not barbarians like whatever you're dressed up as or wherever you're probably from we do things civilized if you have a discussion or a disagreement with someone we talk about it or we go our separate ways and if things escalate we don't do it in the guild hall we plot behind their back and take them out behind a bar like real men and women Oh, so I should have stabbed him outside. I mean, theoretically, of course. No, practically as well. Stab him outside. It's not in the guild hall. We have to clean up the mess. Oh, Jeez. my apologies. <clears throat> if it's any consolation, I did sort of clean up the mess a little bit. Thank you, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Listen. I don't know who started the fight, but it's clear you're both in the wrong here. And I don't want to have to take this any further than this, okay? Do you understand what I'm trying uh, to say here? Yes, madam. So, George, why don't you go home for now and rest up your stomach wound? And you... I don't know what to say to you. Just, <sighs> just uh, pay, pay George, pay, pay George his medical fees. So, ten gold. Pay him ten gold. What? And He's we'll already cured. Look, Gray took care of his poor stomach. That this is my decision. Disagree with it, and we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> um, Gray will just give. Him one platinum. That's ten gold, right? Look, it's I can't have you pay for it. It needs to be her. It's rather principal. Uh, oh. oh, okay. Do, She's going she, to. Uh -huh. Doesn't she have like a fuck ton of coppers? Yeah, that's what I'm just oh going to my open God. the box and give him one copper, two copper, three copper, it can't four be serious. copper, five <laughs> copper, six copper. All the way up to, uh, how much is that? Copper. A thousand copper? Yeah. No, it should be a hundred. It's ten gold, so, t uh, it's ten, Wait. ten, ten. Yeah, it's a thousand. Oh my god! One at a time. <laughs> Look. God, you have a thousand copper on you in that way of. God. We've got it in a little chest. Roll, roll, roll charisma. No charisma. So oh, no. I can I can see if she's either pissed or impressed. 
Oh, I'm yeah, so she, she, she's pissed. She's pissed. Right, you're having a laugh. I'm not having it. What? I'm pay paying him. him. Yeah, pay him in nothing, something other than spare change. Why are you, are you telling me you're really only carrying around cop pieces? Well, a chicken is one copper, and I do get very hungry. You're unbelievable. <laughs> I don't want to see you around this. I don't want to see you around this branch ever again. Okay. Wait, I've not paid. I've not finished paying him his coppers yet. You're banned. You're banned from this branch. You and your friends. Oh, what? I um, haven't. I haven't neither. turned in. I don't care, whatever job you've done, you're not getting paid for it, you're banned from this branch. Well, well, well let's, let's reason for a second. The secret could stay outside, that's fine. But, I, I mean, this isn't about being paid. We, we need to report on the jobs that we've done to bring closure show to me, the families show me your, and the show people me your who batch. Who's Grace. He hands her the piece of paper! <laughs> <laughs> ah, it says here that you're under tutorship of a secret. And I believe as this lady here. <coughs> so, she's clearly not a good influence on you, but I'm going to have to ban you both. Grace, like, okay, but, like, but I understand, but, like, listen, I had to fight her in darkness and I can't see. I lost. I couldn't get a regular slip. That's not my problem. Uh, I you know. Think, when you're fighting in disadvantageous <laughs> situations, you need to think around the problem. If you Why can't you... see, then you need to make it so that she can't see either. Throw dust in her eyes or something. What if I <laughs> apologize? <laughs> disadvantage. We're, we're, we're far past that point, ma'am. <laughs> Oh, I don't think so. I think now is the perfect time for me to say that I am very deeply sorry and I won't do any sort of stabbing in the guild hall again. That apology might go a little bit further if you offer a generous donation to the mercenary guild hall. Well, I have some coppers. With your platinum. <laughs> it's, don't mention the platinum. Platinum! Too late. Oh, so you are walking around <laughs> with money. No! We have enough coppers to... No, no. no. Skint. Right. You, the two of you, and you, I don't even know who you are, the three of you are barred. Banned from the uh. guild hall. If I see you in here again, I'm gonna get violent. I I did nothing. You fell over. It was embarrassing yeah, I, for all of us. I tripped. I tripped. Listen, it was embarrassing for all of us, so take this as a favor. I have to say, lady, you're being very unreasonable right now. This is as reasonable as I can dope don't be Can it can it be like a temporary ban? You see, you see, like smoke slowly flaring from her mouth. <laughs> Cold. Come on, stay calm, stay calm. They don't. Mm. Banned. She goes inside, <laughs> and George is just out there, like, uh, oh. you should, you shouldn't have stabbed me. You don't, you don't have to pay me, but uh, I hope you learned your lesson. Don't stab people. So. What is wrong with you, George? <laughs> You're supposed to fight back. <laughs> I mean, didn't she say we could stab him out here? Evan, <laughs> <laughs> stop! Stop! I'm just, stop! I'm just <laughs> Not just well, you, but Sigrid, stop! Evan, sit down! <laughs> Look, I didn't fight back because if I fought back against a bunch of iron, ed, iron mercs, then I'd be picking on the weak line, the weaklings, or I, I it wouldn't look good on me if I was seen around kicking around those below me, would it? I mean you already did that. You called a lady a barbarian. That's disgraceful. Sorry, have you seen her? Yeah, I've seen her. I like the cat that she wears. 
It's it's not a cat. It's a wolf. No. no. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, I'm going home. I I hope we don't meet again. Yeah. Well, that could have gone worse. <laughs> Gray's going to take Sigrid by the shoulders and shake her. You got a spit, Sigrid! That's all right. Dewdrop is still inside. <laughs> Dewdrop can get paid, but that doesn't... I mean, we're going to go to other mercenary guild halls, and what are we going to tell them? Oh, yeah, we got banned. <laughs> from one that's on our record permanently would we like to explain ourselves like i'm sure if we come back in a few weeks they'll have totally forgotten all about it i, I, I so greatly disagree with your logic you're not allowed to negotiate anymore <laughs> I, I don't care how little i know just tell me what i need to know and i will say the words for you, stop talking, <laughs> and don't fight when we're in a building unless it's- uh, He was calling you rude names, I did it for you. No! <laughs> you think I haven't been called worse? If you give an inch, they'll take a mile. I was just making sure that uh, no one messed with us again. Well, I think if we had the captain of the guard sign approval and we came back here before being banned, we could have done that quite easily. But now I don't think it's possible to... <laughs> I, I think our chances in this particular town are done, no matter our good deeds. Okay, Oops. so... Just to be clear... Sigurd asked me this morning if I would join you guys for jobs. <laughs> Um, when I asked where these jobs were from, it was this place? It was here? That, that we're now banned Well, uh, every <laughs> major town has a mercenary mm. guild. We're just, we'll have to sign you up for the next one. Oh, mm. and good so, uh, news. <laughs> we have a second source of income. Which is... Master Krasny, who has hired us to guard his caravan. Um, when they leave, we'll leave with them. So we are currently unemployed? Well, you might be unemployed. We're still in employ of the caravan. I mean, I Pretty just... easy job. I just got banned from a place that I've never been to before. Oh, you can thank Sigurd for that. Oops. I mean, <laughs> why didn't that guy get banned? He was rude. Because he's a regular <laughs> and he didn't fight back. <laughs> Being rude is less um, bad than stabbing someone. <laughs> I, mm, I don't know about that. Well, we can't argue the ethics and law of every town it just happens to be in his favor here although Sigrid certainly did not <laughs> did not help us in any way <laughs> I can't believe how chill everyone was <laughs> I was I was just gonna put him on his ass but I mean he's bigger than me I mean, he, he isn't taller, but he's wider, so... Yeah, same difference. <laughs> uh, as for Dewdrop, the receptionist is like, Alright, look, uh, we, we know you came in with them. Um, we won't say anything, because you're clearly not involved. But... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> keep Keep quiet about any affiliation of them. Don't don't let anyone see you with them around town. And <laughs> you can come back here and you'll be fine. It's <laughs> higher and higher. I'm gonna try my very best. Just uh you know don't don't go announcing yourself as oh look at me, I'm friends with Winterwolf. You know, just just say uh yeah. I'm I'm uh a child or something. I don't know. We, do you have a nickname? Um, I mean, they call me Dutrop. Oh, that's, oh, that's your, is, 
Oh, no. I don't know. Is, 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 that, is that a nickname or is that your real name? I I mean, that is my real name. I guess Dewey is a nickname that some people gave me. What I what I mean is, like, do you have, like, a, a title that people call you by? Like, uh, like the Winter Wolf or the Wyvern Slayer or the Receptionist? <laughs> the Receptionist. <laughs> Maybe the artist. I'm um, doing a lot of art. That's what they call me, receptionist. Um, <laughs> maybe the winged artist. That would be a good one. Or well, maybe you, maybe you earn something when you do something amazing, huh? Yeah, that would be probably better. As for the winter wolf, well, she's called that because she looks weird and wears a wolf. <laughs> it's always it's all there is to it. <laughs> but um, okay, well, come back. Uh, I mean, how long you stay in town for? Um, I would have to check in back with Grassneed, but I think it's a couple more days. Okay, well, we should have your payment tallied up by tomorrow evening. If you can come back then, then we will have that done for you. Alright. I have my thanks and I'm very sorry for the person that I've never met. Yeah. Wink. She says that wink. loud. She doesn't. She, doesn't. she says a wink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a pleasant day, child. <laughs> you too. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh I mean, artist. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You know, if you need a picture for the next two days, I can make you one. Oh, um, in that case, can I hire you to draw your friends out there so we can put up the pictures no. to say, don't, don't admit to this establishment? <laughs> <laughs> I will think about that. Okay, well, if you're, if, cool. <laughs> okay, and I'm going out. Are they still in front of the door? Gray is just, uh, you just see Gray like shaking Sigurd by the shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not gonna even approach them, I'm just gonna take out my book, write something on it, and turn it around, and it says, I officially don't know you, and go away. <laughs> Ouch. That's not very polite. Through the heart, dude, how could you? Betray us! <laughs> we were abandoned out here. We've been rejected from the guild hall. We've been banished. You can't leave us like this. We'll starve. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'm actually gonna go to the Archmage Tower because I have something to check. <laughs> I don't know, you guys, the part of me. <laughs> hey, Gray, we left the horses um, at Corbin's shack. Do you want to go and get them with me? He's like, yes, because they paid a lot of money for them. All right, I'm sure that Aethon and Dewdrop will be fine here. Yeah, while she's uh, he's doing that. Aethon can't get inside. So. He can't get inside. I'm just imagining... Uh... <laughs> Gray's inner monologue is just angry Kazuma, just pissed off with his party members. <laughs> <laughs> At least the horses are still good. <laughs> Alright, so do you drop into the mage's tower and the rest of you going to get your horses and your carts that um, Mora made? Yep. Mm -hmm. Aphen was following Dewdrop, but I, I think he should probably be uh, leashed to follow everyone else. We can bring Aphen with us. Oh if, no, uh, Aphen like. is Dewdrop's responsibility. <laughs> I'm gonna send Aphen to check on Moho just in case something happens to him. You can roll wow. for it if you want to see which one Aphen goes with. I tell you what, uh, let's let's have sick uh, Aphen roll roll. Uh, perception. Uh, you've sobered up by now. 
with the whole situation. Damn! Um, Secret and Grey can roll stealth to see how well I can ditch Ethan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't think they're intentionally ditching him. We don't want to. He's just, he just lost, he just loses <laughs> He's falling into another hole. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, it averages out to 18-ish. <laughs> <laughs> so it's me to beat it, so you can pick whether you join us or not, because you clearly see us leave. Uh, I think once he sees how hard they're trying to leave, he'll just decide to let them go, and he'll wander back <laughs> to where Maro is, and just, like, go inside. And oh, we're, we're, we're oh you're leaving me? No, Apen. yeah, that's cool. Uh, I, I'll, I'll no, stay we, here. <laughs> we yeah, want Apen yeah. with us. There's just a bush in here. <laughs> hanging out. Alright, Dujo, <laughs> what do you want to do in Kilroy's Tower? Uh, I would like to ask him if he could tell me what this necklace is that I got from the chest. Oh, you want to inquire about my identifying services? If there's uh, something you can do, then yes, please. Well, we met a few, we met la a couple weeks ago, and you were quite skint back then. Can you really afford it? Well, I would have to inquire how much it would be. For an identification of a mysterious necklace that may or may not be cursed. Oh, two gold. Deal. He cracks his fingers, brushes his hair, cracks his knuckles, uh, Stretches out, rolls his shoulders, uh, cracks his neck, just cracking all the bones now. Oh, um, that's so satisfying. And he grabs the uh, amulet, looks at it, looks real hard. It's an amulet of, it's an amulet of not detection. It didn't, it didn't look like he did anything special or magical to do it, but he just told you, it's an amulet of... Don't find me. <laughs> okay. I Definitely know, because I made it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Uh-oh. But it looks quite good, doesn't it? I'm pretty good at my work, but uh, it's curious as to why you have it now. A lot happened the last couple of days. Did you hear anything? A few things. The I heard there was some... I heard last week someone broke into the Winslow estate and assaulted them and many of their servants. Including that poor ogre gardener. How is he, by the way? Oh, they, they gave him leave of absence to go on a stress-free holiday. Damn. Lucky what dude. A good guy. And he's been found in the woods south of here eating berries and people. Oh. <laughs> so. Well, I guess. For living his best life. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's even better for him now. Who knows? Yeah. Well, as long as he doesn't become an issue. Uh, but, uh, well. I heard that um, there was a struggle yesterday. Um, the rumors are one of two things. There's either there was a coup d'etat from Hadrian to his brother, resulting in the death of his brother, or that Hadrian is the protector of the town and protected the town from, well, his brother's menace apparently well i was aware of this that a lot of merchants were going missing but i uh, wasn't really sure of the source of the where they were going but apparently uh they were being kidnapped and used in some kind of weird ritual which i'm not sure how much i believe because the magical knowledge on the winslows is nil the, the idiots they can't they they don't know the difference between a cantrip and a spell. 
So, you know, I'm not sure which rumor to believe, but if you have that amulet, maybe you can enlighten me from a first, second, or third hand experience. Or maybe you're just a looter. Well, I'm not a looter. I wouldn't fall that far for now. But I can tell you that the story too definitely strikes more to the truth. And the Winslows may not have been good in magic, but I can't really tell. I just met them once or twice. But they did have another person in in their place. Archibald. That guy was called Archibald. <laughs> And what he was, was summoning demons. Whispers in my walls. Weird. <laughs> they said the word Archibald and then he repeated it. <laughs> yeah, he was summoning demons in the graveyard of their place. Roll persuasion. Persuasion. Plus zero. Oh, God. Is that so? Well, if yep. that's the case, I'm sure you'd know since you have that amulet. Shows that you're probably there around the time, maybe. Yeah, possibly. We may have been hired by the knights of this town to help them try to capture the Winslow and anybody who is too close to them. But in the heat of a fight, a lot can happen. I see. Well, in any case, you wear this amulet, and people won't be able to find you so easily, at least through magical means. Okay. Wouldn't know where we need that. I'm going to ask um, some people I know. But for how much would it sell if I would want it to sell? If you wanted to sell one of my prized amulets, you want to know how much you'd, someone other than myself, of course, would buy it for? Yep. Well, 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 That's aren't good. you a bit of an entrepreneur to loot the house of a fallen lord and then to sell, sell his wares? Well, I'm not planning on selling it yet. I don't even know if we're even planning on selling it. I just wanted to make sure what I'm holding here in my hands. Well, I can tell you how much they paid for it. They paid me about... They paid me around 22,000 gold to make it. So custom made? Yeah. So, if you wanted to sell it, a merchant with his salt would buy it from you for maybe about 15,000 gold. But if you're any good at bargaining and bartering, maybe you could uh, up the selling price to around 16, 18 to 18,000 gold, depending on how idiot, how dumb the merchant is. Oh, so it's very precious then. Well, this amulet will stop anyone from finding you if they try to do it magically. All right. Well, I thank you for your informations. Yeah, well, if you want, I can... Do you want to buy anything from me? I'm a, I'm a shopkeeper as well. <laughs> um... Let me see. remember what you're selling. Here's my catalog. Last... Thank you. Thank you very much. Last time I bought the portion of healing, which was already very helpful. <laughs> ah, so you're aware of my about the quality of my goods. I think for today, I'm just going to keep it at um, the information, but I may come back. Alright, well, my door is open to you, small fairy. Thank you. Well, if you excuse me, I'm gonna head to food town again. Have fun. Good day. And I'm leaving. 
alright. How are you feeling after that? Finding out the price. How much money you're carrying around with you in, in, in the form of an object. <laughs> and the party <laughs> never saw Jew drop again because he retired. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. Well, I'm probably going to keep it very, very close to me. Not even gonna put it in a bag, but just maybe wearing Wear it. it. Yeah, just wearing it, but not attuning to it if I have to. Is it attunable? Um, Do you need to attune to it? I, have, I can't remember. I think it's inventory, was... so we can just find oh, it. Oh, yeah, it, it is. Uh, you have to attune to it. Okay, yeah. Wow. So you just wear it and then not, not use it? And also not really showing it, just keeping it very uh, close. And tucked away. I guess okay. I better ask the people that I'm not friends with, quote unquote, what they think about this. Uh, roll stealth to try and hide it on your person. Oh. Yep, you find the perfect spot. Uh-oh. I think we all know where he's hidden it. No, there are other spots, okay? <laughs> All right, um, Ethan, what are you doing? Um, I think at this point, Ethan probably would have just sort of gotten food because I don't think he's eaten this morning. All he had was wine, and after sobering up, he realized he's really hungry and he's just kind of waiting for everyone to get back. So, how much would like a standard, I don't know, brunch be? What I mean, what time is it now? Well, if he, if you do a journal. There should be a drop-down list for shops and taverns, and then the, under Exeter, which is a town you're in, there should be the Merry Hound. There's your, there's your menu. <laughs> Where's the journal? Uh, on the right, where your chat box is. There should, there should be something that looks like it sort of looks like, sort of looks like a newspaper next to it. Okay, which, which one of these shops do I click? The Merry Hound. And Exeter. Uh, so I just put in a uh, screenshot in Discord for you. Yeah, when I click the Merry Hound, it just brings up the icon of. Oh, uh, scroll tanker. down on it. Yes, yeah, scroll down. Oh. Mmm, you're gonna want the boiled chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> I always boil my chicken. Can I have him get the the steamed goose with the nutmeg and the crowberry tart? Of course, on the menu. <laughs> okay, I'll have him get that. Okay, it'll cost you two silver. Ooh, okay. I don't know if we can afford that. How do I do math here? If you just do go to your gold and then just type two and remove for, for silver, then it should do that math for you. But otherwise, uh, if you pay him the gold, then he'll give you back eight silver. But yeah, uh, it's it's a decent dish. Uh, what you were hoping for, or at least what you're expecting. You uh, <laughs> spend some time eating it. Um, I don't know if you like it because I'm not sure what your palate is, but it, it's food. He likes any and all food. Also, I can't figure out how to get it to to change. On D and D Beyond. Yeah. Um, on your character sheet, you go to inventory. Then you click on where all your money is on the top of your inventory, and then it should bring up a sidebar on your on the right. And if you go to yeah. your, the area of a, uh, that looks like a silver pieces or SP, there should be a place where you can write in. And you just like type uh, two, and then click remove, and then that should do it for you. Okay. 
It won't do it because I only have one silver. <laughs> so. Okay, so I can get rid of one gold and then add eight silver. Why do you have the electrum <laughs> piece? <laughs> Ew, electrum. Electrum's not real currency. <laughs> electrum is fake currency. It doesn't exist. There, fixed it for you. Um, anything else you're doing? Other than brunch? <laughs> Did I do that correctly? Uh, I will refresh your page and find out. I, I removed a gold and added eight silver. Then you. Um, okay. Then you yeah, should have. Yep, looks fine. Alright, cool. I'm really horrible at math, so if anyone is willing to check me every single time, I'm totally good with that. That's cool. It's probably fine. Do drop upgraded from toddler to child. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, more than a child. Alright. Um, Sigrid and Grey, you guys are walking back to collect your horses. Indeed. Yep. Sure, it's a very silent walk, right? Oh, absolutely not. Sigrid is going <laughs> to ask Grey, seeing as he used to be a sailor, if he knows any great sailor songs. He knows a few, but he's absolutely not singing them. Oh, please, even for little old me? <laughs> Especially for little old you. I bet no, you'd sing if I was a man. <laughs> Probably doubly not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you were another uh, sailor. I think I recall some sailor songs. Let me think. Um, nope. Well, I did spend a little bit of time on a smuggler's boat. I think they had one that went something like, What shall we do with a drunken sailor? <laughs> do you know the rest? Sick. Oh, he got dogged. Oh, Wait, no. not like that. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Nothing. So, how about that weather, okay. huh? I'm back. Uh, I told my mom I'd go see a movie with her, so she drove up here forgetting that I'm not available today. Because <gasps> we agreed on next weekend, and she's just reached that age where she forgets things like that, so... <laughs> I was like, uh, I can't go see a movie today. Oh. Yeah. Because it's supposed to be for next weekend. Uh, yeek. And she just forgot. But yeah, I'm sorry. What were you saying before my dog went off? Uh, something about sailor songs. Uh oh. What about the drunken sailor? <laughs> uh, that's just a. Purse. That that's a song that non sailors sing because they think it's the, the only song that sailors sing. Well, that's the only one I've ever heard. I wouldn't doubt it. You're not a sailor. And what what's this? Uh, the Winter Wolf business. Well, she points to the wolf that she's wearing. Mm hmm. Yeah, but how come I'm just hearing it now? You have been hearing it quite often. Oh, has he heard it often? I think someone mentioned it in one of the last towns. In almost every I, do I don't think that he was in that interaction, though. Which Could is be. why I never had him remark on it before. Oh. I mean... I, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's probably quite... rare to find anyone dressed the way that I am. Oh no, he's gone. <laughs> Ike's two electric boogaloo. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nate was right, it is a very quiet walk. Grey keeps going dead. 
just has to think about what he's gonna say. <laughs> Where's that one TikTok where they just keep adding on to the uh, the sailor song? Oh yeah. <laughs> Poor Gray. I bet he needs a nap. Hmm. Mm, but I mean, all that we're doing is walking, and it's a very, very long walk. It is a very long walk, yeah. <laughs> well, after your conversation, you eventually arrive back at uh, Crawford's hut. Where Crawford's hut? <gasps> oh no. Not Crawford. Uh, oh, shit. Corbin. Corbin. See, now you're Corbin's now you're hut. Ready. Now I've forgotten my name and you've remembered it. I've got my sheet open with all the notes I've taken. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what time do we get there? Is there anyone sniffing around looking for meat? No, it's it's my lunchtime though. Uh oh. Because if it your... sniffs around and looks for meat and finds the horses. Uh, your horses are doing fine. They're hanging out by the, uh, the cart. Uh, it seems Corbin's kept good care of them. Even though he uh, unexpectedly has now, he now has horses hanging out at his house with no owners. <laughs> we'll uh, thank him for taking such good care of our belongings. Yeah, I... Uh... I was like, uh, waiting all day and all night thinking, am I going to come back for the horses and the cart? My apologies, we got a little bit sidetracked, but we're here now. I heard about it from, uh, Adrian, what happened when it went down. In short, we got the shit kicked out of us, but we managed to, uh, subdue them in the end. Yeah, one of you died. How- what happened- what happened there? Oh, he's fine. Krasny got him back on his feet. He was barely dead for an hour or so. I see. Well... Hopefully things will be starting to look up and better in this town now that uh, now that the Winslows are taken care of. I you could probably go back to your old post. Maybe. If you wanted. It might be nice, but then who'd look after the tiger that pops by every once in a while? The, the saber. I mean, good question. Maybe you could take him as a pet. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it would kill me. <laughs> a very dangerous and exotic pet. Oh no, I think uh, I think you've got our relationship reversed in this situation. <laughs> I mean, if it's that scary, then why do you stay around? Well, because... <laughs> it's, it's quiet here. I see. Out here, I don't need to worry about... People getting drunk and saying the wrong things, or people getting stabbed in bars, or... Serial killers walking into town. Out Those here, are some <laughs> oddly specific examples. Well, when you've worked as the town guard for the largest frontier town in the country, you see some things happen. Every one of these, every one of these faces on my arm, or my tattoo. Represents a different person I've put in jail. Whether or not they've been for a light crime or a heavy crime, something deadly, something 
minuscule. Man, first I want to put to justice. Release for Winslow's justice. I see. Well, um, it might get very lonely out here. Do you want us to stay for lunch? That's all right. I'm used to the quiet. And, uh... It's okay. All right. We won't keep you. Come on, Grey. Let's head back. We'll, uh, take the horses in the car and slowly make our way north again. Okay. <laughs> you guys slowly make it back into town. We. What it after these few hours? What is Ethan and Dewdrop been doing? I mean, are we already allowed to just run around town again without a guard? Uh. We've not had an escort all this time, so mm. you you do the math. <laughs> no one's bothered <laughs> you yet. Um, I would probably take a stroll through town and just rethink of everything that just happened here, with the wolves, with the people dying, and the demons and stuff. Just clearing up the head, taking a big stroll to town. Fair enough. What about you, Ethan? Oh, um, said BRB, Ethan's taking a power nap at the Merry Hound, won't be long. Oh, was I in Discord? Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> oh no, we're losing everyone. <laughs> this group is falling apart, all because of Sigrid. <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright. Well, eventually you all meet back up together. What would you ah, like to do? Back to the watering hole. We need to get Aethon, uh hired into the caravan guard, so Sigrid and Dewdrop should talk to Krasny. <laughs> Where is Dewdrop? <laughs> He's over here. Get over here. <laughs> yeah, we will have tied up the horses outside somewhere. You mean like in the stables? Ah, uh, yes, that would make more sense. That would be a good place for them. So, a dewdrop, while Aethon's taking a nap, what do you think about him? I mean, I can't say a lot yet since we only have met him like a day. But he's quite a funny one. Do you think he'd make a good addition to our group? I think he should come with us. We did also say that we are gonna give him a job. So, so what say we talk to Krasny and see if he'll take on another guard? Yeah, we can try him. Oh, shh. He's awake. <laughs> um, I was always awake. What are you talking about? Oh, and what did you hear? Um, I, I heard, I heard Presley. But, I mean, isn't, isn't that kind of it? Well. <laughs> He's looking around very uncomfortably. <laughs> would you like to join us as caravan guards? What is the pay? One gold a day. <sighs> I return. Well, is there shoving. less death involved? <clears throat> oh yes. Honestly, the caravan can completely look after itself. We don't really need to be there at all. I mean, we still have to do the lookout, but we haven't died just trying to get the caravan from A to B. We basically oh. just do quick grunt work, so we go up, clear the path, and just ensure that everything's a smooth ride. Uh, it doesn't take long, but Aethan gives it a little bit of thought, and, uh, says, uh, sure, why not, at least for now. 
All right, you'll have to come and meet Krasny. Um, Dewdrop, you should probably be the one to talk to him. Mm, okay. This way, Aethon, follow me. This <laughs> follows the child. I'm not a child! Prove it. Sigurd will follow as well. I almost beat you up on your own game, okay? <laughs> almost. You had your dark No, I'm, I'm not saying almost, like, you just did. <laughs> no almost about it. Well, I'm gonna knock on um, Krasny's door. Oh, no, Come no, in, no, it's no. open as usual. Is that Just you, trying you to drop? Be yes, it is, and other people. Oh, God, do Krasny drop and do all co. Well, and <laughs> nah, Sigrid will wait outside. This isn't this isn't her business. Hi, Ethan introduces himself with a little awkward wave. Looks at Dewdrop. Uh, how? How do you guys know each other? I... He's a friend of a friend of mine. <laughs> yes, let's go with that. Krasny, this is Avon. He has helped us yesterday in our scuffle. And he was looking for work. So we thought uh, if you need another hire to protect the caravan, I see, you're just, uh, asking me to take in this person you met yesterday. I'm just but... asking if you need another one for the caravan. And All right, if you don't, do job, then... let's, let's be honest with yourself before you ask us one more time <laughs> if I need <laughs> any more help. Would <laughs> I like any more help? Well, um, your friend tomorrow is still incapacitated, basically. So, sure. But if I need any help, <laughs> that's sure, surely a joke, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. No need to apologize. You've realized your mistake. Um, sure. I mean, he looks as clownish as the rest of you, but... <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, uh, I made all my own gear, so... That might be the reason, then. Um, uh... Look, all my NPCs are assholes, as I've been told. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, I'm just imagining Aethon, like, looking down so, like, dejected, just... Oh, I really like this gear. <laughs> right, well, we'll be heading out in a couple of days to start moving towards Krados. We've got a guide to take us through the, uh, the other territory. We're going through the Red Belt. We're already in the Red Belt, but there's a country that we have to pass through to get there. And it's a bit of a complicated society there. The rulers of the country are, well, quite a few tribes of Leonin. And we've managed to get a deal to stay with the Empire clan on our way there. Now, I'd like to remind you, before we get there, or, well, I'm not reminding you, I'm telling you now, that their culture is very different from what you're used to, or at least what you what you small folk call civilized. Um, I believe in the Ember Eye Clan, so that you're not due for any surprises. The leader of the clan is called Solon Ember Eye. And he is the only male in the clan, other than a few children. Otherwise, the rest of his clan mates are all female. Okay. Or like a pride. <laughs> nope, like bees. <laughs> it's, it's the opposite of bees. 
Bees. <laughs> They're just like bees. It's literally the opposite of bees. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it sounds like bees. Bees are just a harm of how in reverse. You could call it a harem, yes. Though, if it's a harem, mostly made up of his wives and kids, who eventually become his wives as they get older. Like I said, this is a different culture. The way it, the way it works is that uh, if a male is born, then when we become an adult, they have to fight him for his for role of chief and head of the clan. And if they lose, they either die or they get banished. Which is why it's right to see a female Leonin out in other places. You're mostly going to see men. But I hope oh I've explained it to you so that you're not surprised when you see them. There will be no surprises here. Yeah, like, uh, like isn't the ratio of female to male lions in Pride like one or two males to like, fif like 15 or so females? You know why that is, right? Sure, tell me. Sure, tell me. Um, whenever a new male lion takes over, he kills all the cubs that aren't his. Yeah, pretty much. So yeah, there there aren't really there aren't really many males around, uh, with exception to the ones that either somehow manage to escape or the ones that are strong enough to either have their own pride or otherwise fight off enemy male lions. Yeah, well, it's similar to that. In this case. But yes, we'll be staying there. And, well, one of the... One of the conditions for staying there is that you have to solve one of their problems. I don't know what the problem will be. But you have to solve it. And this is part of your job as caravan guard. So take care of it with class. You know what class is, right? I do, but I do have to probably tell some of the others about it. Good. <laughs> no, stabbing name, name. people in, in bars. Or shitting oh. in the streets. Or whatever you do in your free time. Those are two options. I assumed it was one of those two. I mean, we, we didn't stab the guy in the street. <laughs> No, he didn't. He didn't know about that yet. <laughs> I'm what? just saying we didn't do it, that's all. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm not going to press. I'm not going to ask, unless I know better, I'm sure. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me? You said we're moving in a couple of days, like two days or four days? Two days. What day is it today? Is it already weekend? I don't know. <laughs> you think I keep track of my weekdays? <laughs> it's your campaign. Yeah, but you're a stat tracker. <laughs> yeah, but I'm currently not stat tracking stats. Yeah, well, well, you have to figure that out then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Screw you then. Um, well, for right now, probably no. Might pop in later to tell you the stories of today if you want to. Ah, uh, sure. It's been a while since you've, since we've had some alone time, I suppose. I guess since you found some new friends to occupy yourself with, I get it. I'm a boring old dragon. Nothing interesting to talk to me about. You're still my favorite. Sorry, Hotton, but you've heard it from him. <laughs> is is Ethan still in the room for this? It's like I feel like this might be a little awkward. If you're still in the room, you're still in the room. If you haven't said you left yet, <laughs> he hasn't left. He's just awkwardly standing here watching this. Like, do you? Um, I, I mean, I could leave you guys alone if you know. Um, No, I'm coming with you outside, and we have to talk to Sigrid anyway. I mean, to the person that I totally not know today. 
Are you sure? I mean, it seemed like you guys are having like a moment. I mean, it's it's okay. We're gonna have a moment later. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> not that uh, kind of moment. Um, but... <laughs> no, um, it's okay. I'm not judging. You know, I uh, support it. Um, bye. <laughs> Ethan leaves. See you later, Kwevni. Yes, you know, bye. That, you know, <laughs> thinks that Dewdrop and Krasny are in a relationship. No, and not. He doesn't never. know that. <laughs> Mary. Krasny would never with the small folk. He doesn't know that. <laughs> Even is dumb, remember? Krasny only pounds premium dragon. I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> oh, no, no, continue, please. <laughs> that was going places real fast. <laughs> yeah, where, where are you gonna finish with that? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm worrying about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've been booted out of Krasny's room for reasons that he he understands, but you won't. <laughs> oh, how did it go? Well, he's hired. Oh, fantastic. We could use the help. Yeah, um, they, uh, they had a moment. Not that kind of moment. <laughs> it was totally a moment. Oh, I believe you. Just look at Dewdrop's little cheeks. They've gone all red. I don't know what you're talking about. She's saying that whether they have or have not. She's just being mean. <laughs> <laughs> they Cast have not. minor illusion. <laughs> <laughs> look how red they are. <laughs> he told, also told us that we are going to leave in... A couple of days and he told me a little bit of the place we are gonna visit it's apparently a uh, lioness inhabited land and their culture is very different from ours i'm gonna tell you later all about it what we have to look out upon oh okay all right all right so yes. we will have roughly four days here until we leave Two days. Oh, I thought it was two. Two days. Sorry. I had four in my head. <laughs> just, just wants to stay. <laughs> oh, we need to get out of here. Is this Dewdrop's plan to have uh, Sigrid go on a four-day bender to leave him, leave her behind? <laughs> Maybe. You, no, 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 no. Wow. I mean, think about how many other places we could get banned from if we stayed for four days. Mm. That's the dream. Let's not make this a, a, a goal. Speedrunning getting banned. Right. Well, if we only have two days, um, does anyone have any ideas for what we want to do while we're still here? That sounds like a no. Not really, no. <laughs> uh, I always investigate that black market. <sighs> oh, yeah, T talking about market and buying stuff. Um, I had the mage look onto the amulet that we found uh, last time. And it's apparently an amulet that he made himself of proof against detection and location. Oh. So if you wear it and attune to it, uh, nobody can magically know where you are. Interesting. Grey is interested, but he didn't say anything. <laughs> and it's apparently worth quite a lot of money. <coughs> so will choke. <laughs> but I wanted to ask you guys first if we have use for it, or if uh, we should sell it somewhere in the next town. I think there's plenty use for it here. You think? Mm hmm Do you want it? Mm hmm Then I'm gonna go into my jacket and very weirdly wrap <laughs> around myself to get the amulet out well, wherever I had it. Well, here it is, if you need it. A grey will accept. Um, are there... <clears throat> Are there any negative stipulations to wearing this that he mentioned? No, he said it's fine. He made it him. The only thing he said is that he made it himself and that the 
Winslow's paid a lot of money for that. It's a special one. Which begs the question, what were the Winslows hiding from? Any powerful entities that might intercept them. I assume. They didn't really use it to... I mean, you have to keep it on your body for it to work. They just had it in a chest. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I do wonder what it was used for specifically. I mean, probably it's intended to use, but... Very strange. Very strange indeed. So yeah, I'm gonna give um, Grey the amulet of proof against detection and location, if you want to add that to your cheat. Yeah. I'll add it to your D&D Beyond, since you don't use it very much. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a kingly gift. And we never saw Grey again. <laughs> and you can never find him ever again either. <laughs> no matter how hard you tried. Uh, display. There you go. That's what you need to know about it. Nice. Okay, so I'll give you guys some downtime. How do you want to spend your next two days? I want to visit the wizard. Oh? To, to do what? <laughs> I need magical ink and paper. Oh, and you can now afford it. Mmm. <laughs> okay, how much magical ink and paper do you want to buy? Ooh, let's say 75 golds worth. How much would he charge for that? 75 gold. That's not what happened last time. <laughs> yeah, well, he was in a bad mood last time. <laughs> okay. I'm sure I'll give him uh, uh, seven platinum and five gold. Uh, that's that's probably why he's giving he's paying it uh, properly this time because you're playing in platinum. Therefore, <laughs> that's a high roller. She'd like to compliment his wizard hat as well, if he has one. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Look, if I'm ever back here, we should go for a drink sometime. Uh, you no, can tell I me all I heard, about your... I heard magic. what you did to George. Uh, George was being incredibly rude. Please. <laughs> I... No, no getting into this. <laughs> well, thanks anyway. Toodles. <laughs> what about you, Gray? Anything you want to accomplish over the next two days? Mm, he's gonna go look at the Winslow auction house. Oh, okay. Um, the auction house. Roll investigation, in fact. Do, 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 do. Oh, all you know <laughs> is that <laughs> it, it's, 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 it, it, do, it does things. It's usually closed, um, mm -hmm. but it sometimes opens when someone has something special to sell. Okay. And it's been closed as of late, I assume, because of the recent... Well, mostly because no yeah. one said anything worth, worth selling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He'll just keep an eye on it to see whether if it opens. Okay. Well, over <laughs> the next two days, it doesn't open. Oof, right. bad luck. Especially over three. <laughs> Very bad luck. Or if it does open, you don't notice. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What about you, Aethon? Anything you want to achieve over the next two days? Um, I don't think I could do it in two days. I don't know if this would be possible. We thought about it previously. Would it be possible for Aethon to start teaching his raven to have courier training so he could, like, carry messages and stuff? 
Ooh, animal messenger. Yeah, is that something he can start training it to do? I imagine it would take a long time. Not uh, yeah, way more than two days. Take a few months. Uh, roll animal handling. Hmm. Mm. Well, you you can make it go. You, you can make it play fetch. Uh, barely play fetch. <laughs> that sounds good to me. But um, to train it, it will probably cost um, for two days. It'll probably cost you maybe a gold worth of supplies. Okay. Like treats and other things. All right, you do drop. What do you want to accomplish for the next two days? I sneak away from the party to go to the guild hall. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Payments. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Five, twelve. Didn't bring back the documents. Twelve, thirteen, twenty. We do have the watch proving that we found him. Yeah, but you didn't give him the watch. <laughs> 35, 43, plus roll a, roll a D100 minus 70. Cool. 40, you get 43 gold. 43 and she could hold it, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and you can, you can choose how, you, how to receive it. So I'm if you want it in platinum it. or gold or silver or copper, you can choose. I'm just going to take it in gold. Okay. Keep in mind, money has weight, so... Yep. Lugging around a big old purse of coins... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not as big as Sigrid's one. That's so much cool. <laughs> I think we handed in the rest of the. No, no, we, we didn't. We kept the money. No, you took it all. I feel bad when I... FIFA tries to loot Sigrid and get a, get a sack <laughs> full of copper. We'll need to head to the bank. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Moro can change it for you if you ask him to. He has that power, you know. He does. <laughs> Currency exchange. We're going to have to carry him on the cart because he's so weak. Alright, after a while, you begin making your journey northwards. Ooh, wait. After visiting the wizard, can I try to craft a spell scroll? What kind of spell scroll? Uh, first level shield spell scroll. Uh, sure. How long should that take? There's two things. There's the players... No, there's the Dungeon Master's Guide and there's Xanathar's, and they both have different things. I'll post it in whatever general. Is, whatever is the most recent should be whatever we use. That would be Xanathar's. Uh, it okay, takes one so... day and 25 gold of material to make a first level spell scroll. Okay, yeah. Oh, so could I make two? Sure. <laughs> is this just for right. your emergencies? <laughs> it is. Okay. Let's move you guys into a map for the journey. All right. Oh, we're heading off again. Yeah, did Foy Free go? I mean, Dewdrop said he went there without telling you guys. <laughs> so, Dewdrop, did you tell the others about the money? Uh, 
I probably didn't tell them, but I would give them the split afterwards without context. Okay. Jutrop is very How's generous. generous. How does it split up? Between the five of you, or four? Um, so five of us? It'll be around eight-ish. 8.6. So everybody gets eight. Eight gold, six silver? Or, no, sorry. Huh? Are you just giving us eight? Uh, I'm giving you eight, yes. That's fair. That's five times eight is 40, and I'm gonna keep the extra fee, so I'm... Finder's fee? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you guys are pretty much scouts. So whoever's leading the scouting part, do a uh, survival to stay on the same road, and then a uh, perception. Oh gosh, who wants to lead? Ethan can lead. Yeah, go Ethan. Did you say survival and then what? Survival perception. then perception. Okay, pretty good. Not as good. At least we're staying on a path. <laughs> yeah. You're staying on the road, but um, your focus is mostly thinking about how hot it is and trying to make sure you don't fuck this up. <laughs> So, you move forward a day. There you go. Oh gosh, into the unknown. You've now entered the lands of Gragas. Hmm. The Gregorian how's, state. How's the weather? Hot. Hot. <laughs> always it's hot. Always hot. Sigrid will have to constantly cool herself down with um, prestidigitation. Okay, next day. Give me uh, whoever's leading the, leading the group on this journey. You can make some rolls. Any takers? I'll do it. Listen, all this sure. Takes a Survival first. And you do get used to it. Ooh. Oh, oh dear. You're going, you're going off course. Uh, going you perception. somewhere. <laughs> and Gray was never given the job again. Oh, wow. <laughs> Gray, uh, where are you I taking don't us? I know what's happening. And three. Um, Gray, are you sure this is the right direction? No. Okay. Do we not just follow the road? Is were we supposed to turn? Well, you're 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 scouting, so you just uh. You, 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 do we lose the caravan behind us? Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh no. This is bad. Can we go back for the caravan? Sure, if you can find the road again. <laughs> um, Dewdrop, you should fly upwards and look for the road. I think we're a little bit lost. I'm gonna try my best. Is it survival to find the road? Yeah. Shit, with it. There it is. <laughs> Ooh. You don't find it. Can I, can I go look for it? <laughs> In a panic, as more and more of us get more and more lost. Oh God, sure. Yeah, you can, uh, <laughs> every, I mean, every time you guys try, yeah, the DC increases, but sure. Can I use my inspiration that I never used? Uh, I mean, see what you roll first. Sure, but see what you roll first. Okay, and if you want to use inspiration, feel free. You can roll it again. Uh, 
Hey. Uh, oh, good use of inspiration, I guess. <laughs> Dang. Ethan, you managed to, on the next day, get them back on track, and you meet back up with the rest of the uh, caravan. Thank fuck. It's literally my first job for Krasny. We cannot lose the caravan, okay? <laughs> Mm. Never let a pirate t take the land away. Sudden rage of bats is raining over me, but I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> no, Krasny, you don't understand. We were doing a deep scout mission to get rid of any threats before they were anywhere close to the caravan. Is that so? <laughs> well, were you attacked? God, I hope not. <laughs> 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 Just a few animals, but nothing serious. See, because we scared them away. You're welcome. Sure. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's go with Race that. Is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Scouting. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I get a list all the time. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perception. Oh, dear. <sighs> Let's go off the trail again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We're scouting out the other side for Krasny with such a good caravan. <laughs> Sorry about that. Say, um, guys, are we lost again? Probably. No. <sighs> <laughs> Look, I'll get us back. I know the right way. Is it survival? Sure. Whee! <laughs> you walk towards where you think the road is. Uh-oh. <laughs> and you encounter a creature. <gasps> Hold on, let me make it let me make some maps. So go go roleplay on your way to this area. <laughs> oh, good news. Um, Grey, when we went to get the horses, was telling me all about these sea shanties that he used to sing when he was a sailor. Uh, Grey, did you want to sing one for us? Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, boo, you're no fun. <laughs> and he'll smile. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good chance to learn more about Ethan. Uh, mm, uh, north. North? <laughs> this yeah. was an enriching conversation, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Are you having heat stroke? Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm totally good under all this armor and this heat. I can cool you down if you'd like. Ethan looks at her very strangely. What do you mean by that? Ah, uh, she can cast a prestidigitation and cool your armor. Oh, that would, yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, Sigrid herself is in basically winter clothes in the middle of a savanna, so she has to do that to herself all the yeah. time. <laughs> Better. Yeah, you get the feeling that Ethan is not really used to being around people, at least not for a while. Like, he's a little bit... Anytime anyone mentions anything, like, hey, where are you from? What's your background? He just sort of closes down, like, immediately. He just sort of immediately just shuts the conversation down, becomes very... Not rude, just very short and not interested in continuing. But yeah. uh, he's grateful for the uh, the cold armor. 
So, um, did you want to tell us how you fell into that mud? I tripped over my cloak. <laughs> I'm sorry, Greg can't stop himself from what <laughs> He's trying really hard not to look over there, but, like, I think that got him pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, I'm very sorry to hear that. Aphid is totally stone-faced. There's no indication that this is a joke at all. Like, this is totally <laughs> so serious. Maybe you should, um, make the cape a little shorter so that you don't no. accidentally stand on it. No, no, I need it. Mm-hmm. I, I need it. Sorry. But it's also really hot. Yeah, that's why I wear it. I don't know if you can use that argument, Sigrid. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got sentimental joke. value? <laughs> that was a joke and neither of you got it. <laughs> I got it. I was able to say anything. So, somebody yeah. got it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could take off your, your cat hat, but you're not gonna do that. That's because if I take off my cat hat, you'll realize that I'm actually much shorter than I look. I mean, you're all pretty short. Aethan, like, looks around the party. Especially that one, and he, he points at uh, Dewdrop. <laughs> Poor Dewdrop. I'm not Are you small. Squinting, like, like, my eyes come up to your chin, my dude. I'm pretty average for fairy height, okay? I mean... You're the shortest fairy I've ever seen, but... Have you ever seen another You've fairy? seen other fairies? <laughs> no. No, exactly. He's also the tallest fairy I've ever seen. Thank you. But the shortest too, so... <laughs> Alright, I want to know, where did you get that tiny hammer? It was Ooh. my art shop. <laughs> well, I, I, <laughs> it's um, when I lived with the dragons, I had to do an art piece that required me hammering down stone. And after realizing that I should probably learn something about the art of war, I thought this tiny hammer might have more use to that. I see. Well, it certainly proved itself useful in the past, so... Exactly. What was, uh, was that when you started dating Krasny? I'm not dating Krasny. Uh, he's, just, he's just a friend of a friend. Oh, uh, it's, it's complicated. Got it. No, it's... <laughs> you're, you're really not getting it, are you? I, I mean, somebody's getting it. Oh, gross. <laughs> oh. Gray is leaning over to Sigrid like, what the oh, hell did they even so... see to make them think they were dating? I'm not in a relationship with anybody. Not a dragon. Not, not a fairy. Not you guys. I'm a free man. And I'm trying to stay free. So, if you're so free, then why do the hags need five beholder eyes? That's but beside the point that I was trying to make. Hmm. And as you come up and mention this, you hear the sound of bone crunching in the, in the foliage ahead. Oh, jeez. Uh, -oh. uh, you you go in to investigate. And you see three large beasts or which I'm looking up to see if I have a stat block I don't <laughs> I, have, no, I have a stat block just on roll 20 so beasts guys I don't think this is the right way <laughs> clearly this creature poses a threat to the caravan oh, which is Jesus Whoa. Whoa. That's a large creature. 
Hold on, I need to find a dead cow to really emphasize. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this will do. Pretend there's blood. Guys, we should um, back away very slowly. They've spotted you. <sighs> Let's see if this will work. Roll initiative. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I'm initiating, all right. Oh, it's worked. Did it yeah. work? Yay. Yeah, looks like it's working to me. The previous initiatives. Oi, great. You can't just get the same initiative as me with a 9 as I do with a 17. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I needed one roll above a 10, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's too far away. That spell isn't ready yet. I can't attack that target. <laughs> I don't have a target. Can someone tell me how to do the arrow thing again? I'm out of mana. It, uh, uh, the ruler, the side, top yeah, left. Like ruler. I can't equip that. I cannot carry anymore. <laughs> oh wait, Gray's already in here. Uh, adds turn, Aethon, and Aethon, you roll to 20. Mm. Ooh. 20. Welcome to the death zone. I'm so glad you said death zone. <laughs> what do you think I was gonna say? Uh, okay, I won't uh, worry about it. Uh, Gray has a higher dex. Do drop. <laughs> oh, look at that little kitten. What would you like to do, do drop? Um, they seem hostile, right? Uh, let's just say that your sling is like warning hostile intent. Okay, then dun, 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 dun. let me quickly check. That's too far. So I'm um, gonna go in 15, fly up 15, and then maybe fly in 20 and go up 10. And then from here, I'm going to shoot this one. No, wait, too far. This one, there. Okay. Pew! Yeah, uh, really, I'm really gonna... trying to get that max range in. <laughs> Boop. 12 is a miss. It, oh, you, the, the rock you pelt at it bounces off its hard uh, shell. Oh, well, not really shell. It's hard uh, scales. And if anything, you just made it angrier. Boink. <laughs> and Cotton is gonna go over here. So I'm 10 feet in the air, hopefully, but not much. That's not enough. Yeah, anyway. Okay. It's me. Aethon. Uh, I'm gonna immediately get out my crossbow and shoot at the one Dewdrop is aiming at. This one? Yes. Okay. You should be within range. You are. 21 is a hit. A full damage. You've pissed this thing off. You've just heard it. <laughs> uh, can I do anything else or is that kind of it? Uh, unless you want to move. Yeah, you still got your full movement. Can I do a bonus action or no? Uh, if you have one to use. Yeah. What What do you have? What were your options? Uh, I was gonna use Wrathful Smite. I was gonna cast it on my sword for like the next round. Sure. That's constant. I think that's constant. Okay. that sticks around for a while. Yeah. Uh, I think it lasts for. Let me see. Concentration one minute. Yeah. So you need to use it within yeah. a minute. So I would be able to use it on my next round, on my next turn? Yep. Totally. Okay. You just put the concentration symbol on you. Boop. Don't worry. Okay. 
Next is Gray. <gasps> All right. All right, Gray, do the thing. What? What is the thing? You know, thing, the gray thing. Yeah. Um. Yes. Kill. My arrow went away, so I can't measure distance. But, um, he's going to drop. Yeah, my arrow is gone. It's like not at all in my. It's weird. In my bar, yeah. Do you wait? Um, what's what's below the magnifying glass? It's this crown, and when I hover over it, it's a snap to center. Showed all others. Snap to corners. Snap, no snap. Oh, yeah, that's that's the arrow. That's the arrow. It's a ruler. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh, it sure is. They changed the icon. Yep, they did. They, <laughs> as well as putting in dark mode. Ah, it's so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's going to use cunning action aim for advantage and draw his short bow for a strike to the... That's wow. gross. Oh my God. To, but this thing this. is wearing adamantine breastplate? No, it's not. <laughs> it's got adamantine <laughs> scales. Okay, uh, that's also sneak attack as well. Oh, uh, sure. I totally forgot. Oh my God. And um, sneak attack is also crits. <laughs> right. Oh my god. So roll sneak attack again. Yeah, two more d6. Okay, so that is. Holy uh, Jesus. 21, <laughs> uh, 28, 32 damage. <laughs> from what? <laughs> rogues. <laughs> <laughs> you get this thing in the fucking jugular. It is <laughs> bleeding. <laughs> that was <will> laugh. <laughs> Nervous laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Just became a target. Oh yeah, well, it's you're not all targets reach, now. Yeah. <laughs> Is that me? No. Your turn? <laughs> no. Yeah, you're so far away <laughs> from it. You're fine. Oh, you don't know the movement know. speed. I don't know how fast this bitch moves. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Sigrid, you're next. Ooh, right. Gonna run into the middle of the field and cast darkness. Oh, damn. Very cool. <laughs> Big old area of no one can see anything past this point. <laughs> <laughs> I can see. Bloop. There we go. You can't see into there. Oh, good for being we can smell you. Uh, <laughs> I can smell you. <laughs> Is that made you return? Uh, yes. Yes. Um, well, I thought most by its taste. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good. Um, this one will move. I'm just gonna check that that it's uh, about thirty feet across. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. It will move 40 feet here. <clears throat> and it will... It's at least 30 feet straight forwards. And hit the claw attack on the same turn. Okay, it will go for a claw attack on Aethon. The Special claw. 20 plus 6. It's a nine to hit, so you block it heartily. <laughs> it's the end of its turn. Who's next? This one that you just stabbed in the fucking jugular. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's gonna move here. Oh, it's zooming. They have a 60 foot movement speed. Can he reach me? There should be ten feet between him and I. These these things are large. <laughs> Their forehead reach is large as well. It's bigger than large. I think this thing's huge. It's <laughs> most of that is, is the tail, so I don't count that. <laughs> oh, okay. Thirteen to hit. Thirteen misses. God, these things are rolling trash. 
<laughs> you know what? You could, oh. He's gonna, he's he's gonna spray some blood around you. <laughs> I was gonna say, use your DM inspiration, which you have infinite of. No. <laughs> <laughs> mm. This one is gonna go right here and. Uh oh. Uh, go try and smell you out and hope for a hit. Can I call so, it stinky? Two D twenty. Lowest one six. Wow, oh, two wow. now. Wow, definitely. Yeah, these things are. I'm rolling like garbage today. I get it. That's a one in <laughs> four hundred like chance. One. Double now ones. Cool. Very cool. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks <Conqueror>. dice gods. <laughs> um, do draw back to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me. One um, of them has entered the darkness. And looks, one is looks half meaner darkness. than the others. Uh oh. <laughs> and the other one is half in darkness. Yeah. And there's one in Grey's face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The one bleeding think... all over Grey. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go over here. Fly five feet up the. Uh, more, so I'm 20 feet up. Okay. And I'm gonna shoot the one that's hunting Grey down. 27. That's a hit. I cannot ask at Cotton to that, it's fine. Six. Damn. Six Solo. damage? Not bad, not bad. And then I'm gonna tell Cotton to bite the, its ankle. So, <laughs> Cotton is gonna come in. 11. 11. I'm actually gonna have to check that. That's miss. I think a 12 missed, yeah. Yeah. Is that the end of your turn? Yes. Okay, Aethon. I'm gonna get out my greatsword now that, now that it has, uh, what's it called? That spell on it. Smite! Yeah, and just swing at this fucker with my giant sword and its purple blue lightning on it. Sure. That's a hit. That's 12 plus smite. Do you want to roll that? Where do I see the. Uh, you, you clicked it. Just click the spell again. You made it appear earlier. Yeah, I'm looking for it. <laughs> uh, it's not. It's well. not letting me click it. It's twelve. Do you have the spell Indeed. slots? Indeed. Yeah, Did I think you already so. use up all your spell slots? No. You shouldn't have used any today. Are, are they supposed to be like with full squares, or are they supposed to be empty? Uh, two of them are meant to be empty. Yeah, yeah, I had to I had to actually um click it's, two of them. It's just a D six of Wait, you, need to, uh, psychic. you need to remember you need to remember to click full long rest at the top of your screen after after a day of after you do combat. It's that button. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, it's just a D six. Um two. I clicked it for you, so Oh no, that was me. I know, but we we all three of all three of them are two. Um okay, you need to pick a wisdom save. He has plus one. Slasher one D twenty plus one. Four at fail. So he is <laughs> frightened of you, I think. Yes. Um He is frightened of you until the spell ends. So for the next minute, I guess. Wow. You scared the dinosaur. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. I mean, I'm impressed, honestly. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm not saying that, but I'm impressed. Y'all yeah, can respect it. Okay, <laughs> uh, that's two psychic damage. Okay. Uh, does that mean you return, or do you want to move? Maybe no, I think, that's, that, I think I'm good. Kick Sigrid for making you another smoke screen. Um, Gray, it's your turn. <laughs> oh, 
All right. I like smoke screen. It keeps me safe. Maybe. <laughs> uh, Gray is going to swashbuckler. Hit this dude with his rapier. Bonk. I have a question Oof. out of character. Yep. Ask. Um, the cloud, the dark, the dark cloud that Secret made. I yeah. have dark vision. Yeah. Does it work in there? Uh, it's this, this, the one that Secret made is magical dark vision. So it's okay. different. Barely. Okay. So it doesn't, so you can't see, I'm afraid. Okay, no. Okay, that's a hit. For 18, 19 plus, plus uh, if you add Cotton's help, that's uh, 19. How do you want to kill with this first one? <laughs> Two shotted, <laughs> bing bong. Probably just like fancy sword work uh, around the throat. <laughs> the soft wow. side of the throat. You pierce into the jugular that you already stabbed with an arrow, and you just just really get in there. So you just swash it around. Very fancy sword work. If a, if a, if only this dinosaur could appreciate it. <laughs> Cotton's my witness. Sadly, he's dying and dead, but, <laughs> and also a dinosaur. Revivify that dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> but he's dead, all right. Are you, do you want to move? Uh, great exhales. He's like, oh my god. Going over it will be difficult terrain because there's a large body, <laughs> a big oh. fat dinosaur. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm content to remain where <laughs> I am actually because I am I am very out of reach of these other dangers. <laughs> so that's the end of my turn. Okay, Sigrid. Alright, I'm gonna shimmy over here to... Uh, yes. Now I'm gonna try to Great Weapon Master. The one that's more wounded. Okay. Mm. Boink! Ah! That miss. It, A it nine. never hits. It never hits. It hit in session zero and never since. <laughs> then I'll go up here so the others can actually see. Okay. Well, they can't see you, so you can't make an attack of opportunity on you, so. <laughs> stinky dinosaurs. Alright, job done. Alright. This one, sensing its uh, brethren, has died. Gonna move to here. You ever sense that this one might be the alpha? It's very, very angry. <laughs> uh oh, bye, Gray. It's gonna go for a bite on Gray. No, 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 no. Oh yeah. No, no, no. Oh no. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> I do. No, 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 okay, game. I, I get you don't want me to roll well, but come on. That's just rude. Yeah, honestly. How, how am I meant to buff up Secret's tough, tough stats? I can't hit. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to bite the protagonist and not Secret. Right, well, this other one's going to turn and bite Secret since it can't attack uh, Aethon. Okay. Well, it could, but it. It's not going to bother. Um, Ooh, Aethon, you can take an attack of opportunity. Ooh, that's true. Attack! 13 is a hit. For seven slashing. <laughs> yeah. Very Does that clear. include the Wrathful Smite? Would that still be within a minute? Um, um, it only applies yeah, it, once. It I only think. applies once, but if you want to add more smite, you you have your regular paladin smite you can add. That's true. I've, I don't know where that is, and I've never done it. Uh, um, you'd you'd simply you'd use up a spell slot, and then you can roll an extra 2d8 radiant damage. Yeah. Where is that in... Uh, it it'll in be in your trait? features. Um, Features... Features, 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 features. 
It's in there somewhere, I swear. Yeah. Ah, It'll be under uh, spellcasting. I see features? you. Uh, no, it's, it's in features and traits. Yeah, Divine Smite. Yeah, there it is. Divine Smite, yeah. Yep, so just roll 2d8 if you want to add some Divine Smite to that. We use up a spell that? slot to do it. Just roll 2d8. Like, slash R 2d8. An extra nine damage it's for Boink. a total of 16. This thing is not looking good. I mean, these things were just going about their business and you interrupted their meal. And, uh. So, the 22 hit. <laughs> yes. I can smell you. <laughs> no. It's going for a bite, is what you did. I didn't get critted. Slash R 2d 10 plus. Four. Oh, that sounds like a lot. 14 oh. damage. Ouchie. I need to make a con save. On the moment. Come on, let's finish. Oh. Easy. Do you have advantage? Uh, yeah, I've got the Eldritch Mind invocation. Oh, okay. Well, uh, back to Dewdrop. One of them That's slipped me. back into darkness. I can't see him. So that's uh, the alpha. <laughs> Flying in ten feet. Wait, five feet. And shoot. The ivory tower of flight. Press up. Hit. Why so long? The uh, sling haters are feeling real happy about themselves <laughs> right now. <laughs> and then Cotton's gonna go in and bite. Uh, uh, seven's a miss. Almost all that was damage fair. <laughs> all right, Ethan. All right, since since the one I was fighting has just disappeared into the black mist, I decide to turn around and crossbow the one that is going after Gray. Fair enough. But you could run up to it and hit it with your sword. At disadvantage, because he can't see in your thing. No, 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 the alpha. Oh, right, yeah, that. Should I do that? If you want to, you could. You. I mean, it could help. Do it more could, damage. It, yeah, it could also help Gray by giving him seek attack if he Gray, if Gray decides to stab it. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll do that. Although Gray already has seek attack from you know Swashbuckler and from Cotton. True. Gray true. is sorted. Yeah, Gray is Gray. <laughs> <laughs> Rogues, scary, scary things. <laughs> Ooh. That's a hit. Wait. Oh, yeah. you're, you're, oh, an extra five. That's uh, 16 damage. Damn, boy. <laughs> this thing is uh, definitely Alfred. It's very beefy. Uh, gray. <laughs> oh, my God. There's so much internal panic. He's going to strike what? with his rapier. It's not even hit you yet. Why would he be- Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Oh, man. Just- Jesus Christ. Just ruin me. <laughs> Good grief. 15, 25, 32. <laughs> <laughs> this, this encounter was pointless. That was one hell of a right. stab. It's just three I'm kills. But- <laughs> I don't know where to go. I don't want to stay here and get hit. <sighs> uh, I was all hyped to, to get this scary battle against these dinosaur creatures, but no, they're it, useless. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, Ethan is smarter than dinosaurs, so... Yeah, yeah, that's true. They should have known better. <laughs> yes. Ray is going to hightail it 30 feet this way. <laughs> <sighs> okay. <laughs> Sigrid. All right, I'm gonna make a great weapon master hit. Just you watch. Oh, In fact, it. I'm gonna use a bonus action for Hexblade's curse. Oh. And then, Kerchow. Ha ha! Twenty is a hit. 
for 28 damage. How do you want to kill it? Uh, I would like to decapitate it. Fair enough. <laughs> With an upward swing. Swoosh. And then it slowly like goes and falls off. Not that anyone else can see it, of course. Everyone just hears a loud thud. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And then I will run 30 feet towards my friends. Aww. Yes, good, blind Grey. Yeah, I'll go next to Grey. God damn it. Actually, no, Grey wants to shoot with advantage. That'd be rude. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, I'll go fine. here. There we go. Oh, and I heal for nine health because I killed the target of my thing. Wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. wow. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Very Job cool. Done. Love it. Love it. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt someone this turn. It better be <laughs> Ethan. What? What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> but, you were abandoned with cotton. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got abandoned. Okay, it's nothing personal. You just, you just in front of him. <laughs> abandoned. Uh -huh. Yo, oh, fuck wow. yeah, just you know, kill him, just do drop, wow. finish him. <laughs> Why? Why did I bother? <laughs> You've rolled so many happening? ones and twos. Just, just put him out of his misery. What is happening? Uh, oh my screen, why is this? <laughs> it, it's, 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 I'm being taunted by secret. What <laughs> makes you think it's me? Why wouldn't I think it's you? Uh, that's a hit. <laughs> it's probably Dewdrop. <laughs> I don't think that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> Seven damage, still alive. <laughs> it, all the crits. Yeah. Uh, Your poor, poor mobs are being crit to all hell. Ten. How does how does Cotton want to do this? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> oh, here you go. You got a type out a big hard essay of how oh, Cotton powers it. Yeah, we can hear you. No, I think uh, yeah, entirely because he were all robots. Um, he's gonna. Claw his way up his leg, go into mm -hmm. the back, and run up to its head and just bite the neck out. Cool. Jesus. It falls forward as its neck gets ripped out by a cat um, and dies in the blood of its brother. <laughs> you guys um, beat boy. the world's worst <laughs> Allosauruses. <laughs> Oh. I feel bad for the Allosauruses. I'd like to envelop Grey in darkness. Can we Why are you like the way that you are, Sigurd? What do you want to do, uh, Dewdrop? Does it count as a 30 feet kill? Uh, no, because Cotton killed it. Oof. <sighs> <laughs> uh, hello. Can can we skin them and eat them or uh, anything? You the could, fuck? yeah. <laughs> Don't I mean, there's, judge a, there's me. a perfect, there's a perfectly good half-eaten carcass already eaten or skinned, I guess. But yeah, but there's on. three perfectly good carcasses here that have not been previously eaten. I mean, sure, roll, roll I survival. <laughs> roll survival to begin skinning. It, it's not the best. It's not the best skin job, but whatever it. What, what could you call the best skin job for this kind of thing? All right, I'll drop darkness. It's getting dark, so you guys got to camp out here. But uh, you're gonna be skinning this thing for a few hours. It's it's big. If, if 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 I do that, can I have one of the skulls as a trophy? Well, if you, you do that, you're going to be separated by a couple hours from the caravan. <laughs> also, I mean, like, this is a large, this is a large skull. You need to be able to carry it. I mean, probably what if I drag it? Your carriage. What if I drag it? Oh my god. Uh, it's still a bit, it's, it's heavy. 
All right, I won't. Another I mean, you can probably take, like, take a, like a claw or something. That All right, I'll take a. Yeah, I'll take like. I'll take a, a real big tooth. Cool. Can I pluck the alpha allosaurus feathers from my arrows? Sure. <laughs> Just take everything from me. <laughs> <laughs> you took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> well, um, that was quick. Back to the caravan! <laughs> so we, we took care of some allosaurs. It'll totally redeem us of being where we are and not where we're supposed to be. <laughs> We just saved the caravan from some dangerous dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. I think we're due a, a bonus. Uh, negotiations will be left to you on that front. I'm good to just... Edgar's gonna hit back. If we can find the world. Oh, no. You guys are currently lost. It's getting dark. Oh no. <laughs> when have we not been lost? This is our natural state. <laughs> where's my where's my 27 my 32 <laughs> you spent on. it all on murking my mobs <laughs> yeah sorry you used up all your crits for today god to be lost and alive like <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst timeline <laughs> <laughs> right well we'll end the session with you guys making camp out in the wilderness. We'll find out what happens in the, in the night next week. Oh, no. but, oh boy. Will I make you pay for this? <laughs> if you okay. insist. I'm, I'm, I'm calling you on a, a pack of wild boars to run for your camp. Don't you worry. <laughs> if only we had a tiny hutter. Yeah, good thing there's no spell gases in your party. <laughs> uh... You're barely, you get, you get free, you get two spells a day, you barely count. Yeah, well, if I take uh, a short rest every hour, I could cast, ooh, like 48 spells. You're like, you're like, uh, uh I'm, I'm trying to find, think of a, a knockoff drinks brand for Coca-Cola. <laughs> Own brand cola. You're, you're, you're like, uh, Croco Grola. The, the it the the thing they sell in those gas stations, but it's like it looks like a Coca Cola, but it's like it's, wait wait a minute, it's like a G. Let's see, off brand cola. Yeah, you can you, well mm. you can long rest after the long rest, so you don't long rest now. Long rest in the morning when it's when it's when I've not killed you in the night. What? Why would you kill us yeah. in the night? I oh, must have already, my I already clicked the thing, but I don't think it went anyway because it didn't refresh my slots. You didn't. You didn't take any damage anyway. Don't worry. We'll figure it out later. Oh. But uh, you guys, well, that's today's session. You did a lot of role playing. That's fine for me because I did prepare a lot of maps. Um... <laughs> 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 Yeah, you can absolutely cook some dynamite. You have plenty to, to, to you know, practice with. <laughs> Make all the mistakes you want. You got three whole carcasses and a cow. Do these count as rations? Yeah, you can prepare them into rations if you roll high enough. But you need to dry them to make them into rations, otherwise they're just going to, you know, go off immediately. Smoke the so, meat. What is that, survival? What... What status is that? Uh, let's go with a uh, survival. I'll, you don't have cooking supplies, so a good survival roll would help. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You tried your best, but uh, you think it's, it's not... smoking, and you're gonna leave it there for a while, and you hope that in the morning it'll be done. It's just charcoal in the morning. Yeah. But hey, who knows what's going to happen when you smoke and cook meat in the middle of the night, in the middle of the wilderness. 
Let's oh, oh, God. Now, God. now that you say oh, that. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's find out next week on Saturday at 6 p.m. Ooh, Saturday at 1 p.m.? That's... Yeah. Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and thanks to the players for playing, and thanks to Roll20 for giving me the worst rolls in an encounter <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. I know, Nate was so upset by the rolls that he's ending the session an hour early. That's how <laughs> deeply... Know. Oh, is it an hour? You know, yeah, I'm ending yeah. an hour early. I'm tired, I'm hungry. That's, that, that's, how, that's how ruined I am right now. <laughs> Traumatized. I'm traumatized. And he wants to go back to the raid. Nah, I actually just.